Welcome back to EducateTube.com. Recently I bought this um, rapid battery charger. It's a Extreme USO rapid battery charger. I bought two because it was two for $30. It's a pretty good deal. Now, and it said that uh, 600 hour emergency standby and this whole picture of um, iPad, which shouldn't be a picture of the iPad, it should be more of smartphone because you cannot get that kind of uh, uh, claim on an iPad. Anyway, I test it out. So here it is. I have this one, the second one. I plugged it in. This is what I did. I actually went to um, a Christmas um, uh, gathering and um, I was outside and my phone was running out uh, of battery. So I plugged this in, right? Thinking that it would charge. And it did. It charged for maybe 30, 40%. And then this thing started giving away. Now I'm pretty sure I fully charged this uh, um, portable battery pack or battery bank system, but you know it didn't give me more than 50 percent. I'm giving 40, 50 percent, which is okay if you know you need to call last minute. You know you need to spend uh, use a 10 minute of the phone smartphone time to call, and it's okay. You know, but this is not something that uh, will be able to. Uh, give you power for the whole day the full charge definitely not at least I found that out pretty fast now the good thing about this device is that it does have a um, there we go LED light which I think is actually more useful for just using it as LED light and you plug it in and maybe for us a, a less powerful um, smartphone or smart devices that uses uh, USB to charge maybe this is a good ba battery bank system now that's not the point of this video today the point was I got frustrated you know I'm you know I already spent thirty dollars for this two device and I'm not gonna buy another uh, div, uh, battery bank that's like ten thousand milliamp hour it will cost me at least uh, I saw it on sale for I think it was fifty bucks there were some that was a regular price was like eighty bucks I'm not spending fifty to eighty bucks on you know a battery pack system so I, I decided well why don't I build my own okay so here it is I I decided to build my own um, battery bank system because I was frustrated with these um, devices and I wouldn't want to pitch another another uh, 50 to 80 dollars to buy a 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank so I decided to build my own this cost me less than three bucks as you can see here it is actually made out of um, a three dollar charging device and the rest it comes from um, laptop batteries like lithium batteries that you know didn't work anymore like at least the um, the electronic didn't work but the battery itself worked so these are recycled material okay so the battery is still good the lithium batteries there is six cells let's see one two three four five six and I believe each one of them is 2100 milliamp hour so when you arrange in in, in parallel you get you get uh, 12,600 milliamp hour woohoo yep 12,600 milliamp hour and it cost me less than well three bucks plus tax and everything about less than four bucks right and it comes with the whole cable and everything so this can charge my smartphone for example and I test this out already and it works super well in fact it was able to charge my phone when it went down to 40 percent three to four times that is very good so in other words it can charge you know from uh, a dead phone like say three percent left of uh, battery power it can charge it up twice that's awesome Whereas this device that I bought, you know, uh, for fifteen bucks because it's two for thirty, can only charge uh, forty maximum fifty percent uh, battery capacity. Where this one can charge two hundred percent. Big difference. Cost me ah uh, less than four bucks, fifteen bucks, right? And the cool thing about this is actually it's um it you can add more battery. I can make this actually twenty five thousand milliamp hour if I want to. If I had more batteries, I would do that. And you know, one of these days, I might even do a 50,000 milliamp hour, or maybe if I'm you know ambitious enough, a hundred thousand milliamp hour. Now, can you imagine that a hundred thousand milliamp hour be able to charge my <coughs> phone uh, at least 15 times, right? Full charge every time that would be great to have on a camping trip, wouldn't it? Yeah, I will actually, I would do that someday, you know, and I'll show it to you. But there it is, okay? I'm gonna show you, actually, it works really well. Can see here all I have to do is just um see the cool the only um, bad thing about this thing is that uh, I would have to get a clip here I, I built a clip to clip on so that it's then can be powered so here I have to clip this on to connect it fully right 
and there we go it tells me that there's full battery uh, charge in there now the reason I built a clip is because if I you know there's no way of the turning off with this uh, battery charger that I bought for three bucks so I have to do manual clip that's okay that's just a little bit of inconvenience um, it doesn't drain my battery that's awesome right and then so what happened is now I just plug this in like this it has built in uh, micro USB for char charging my phone so I just click voila all right yeah so I'm just I think it was the clip is off let's okay so you clip it on like this and voila see it's charging and I can tell you right now it's now 87 percent and within about I would say five minutes to ten minutes it will get 100 percent charge so it's a pretty rapid charge too and there's still lots of juice left on this device pretty cool I hope you can build one of your um, big battery uh, charging unit for your smartphone I think it's better actually it make us smart smarter to build your own okay uh, save a lot of money and you can build as big battery pack system as you want in fact if you notice here I put wireless inductive battery system it actually can be uh, charged wirelessly now it's not perfect I just have to tweak it a little bit um, it's uh, for some reason it can um, charge inductively wirelessly but it can only hold uh, I think one uh, 3.7 volt I want this battery to go all the way up to 4.1 volt because um, it has more um, power capacity right so you know milliamp hours with more volts mean more watt wa wattage of course that will reduce the um, the battery cycles that's what was told some of the expert tells me that if you go beyond four volt you might ruin your uh, life cycle of your lithium battery but that's okay with me for me it's more about having more storage power and less battery recycle cycling power right life cycles I mean okay but anyway it's really up to you but that's how I look at it like you know some people say a hundred uh, battery life cycle is better than having more power for me I would rather have more power mean more wattage and have only 50 uh, life cycles battery because you know um, I rather have you know a large amount of power uh, wattage uh, for using it you know 50 times and 100 times of less of that power well I mean it's up to you right again it depends on your device you know if you have a powerful uh, device that uses a lot of battery you might want to do what I do re uh, bring it up to 4.2 volt okay Thanks for watching, educatetube.com.